All right, guys, it's officially happened. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Um, we are driving the FD right now, and we are finally going to Abel, one of the rotary gods, if not the rotary god here in SoCal, to finally work on all the little engine components that we need to get worked on on the FD so we can finally have her running a good, strong, perfect. I'm just super excited. We've been waiting in line for Abel to finally open up some room for us. And he literally hit me up right now. He's like, Paul, we have room. Like, can you come? I was like, screw this. Like, job, work. I don't care what I was doing. I'll be there right now. I also want to say this before we get the rest of the video going today. Anyone that comments on today's video is going to be put in to automatically win $20. I'm actually going to do it to two people. I'm going to shoot two of you guys 20 bucks. So anyone that comments on this video is going to be automatically entered to win that. Just because you guys support me, I want to give back to you guys because I appreciate you so much. So let's get to today's video. We finally made it over to Abel's shop and you can already tell he has roadies everywhere. But I kind of want to talk about what is wrong with my rotary if you guys don't remember. First of all. The car caught on fire and the reason why that caught on fire is because this oil feed line is leaking um it's still kind of hot but if you touch it and if i really get on the turbo the 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 oil comes out of here which is what basically caught this whole car on fire so i'm going to swap that out this is broken right here so it's making the coolant reservoir and everything fly out we're going to chop that off um so abel's basically going to run through the whole freaking engine right now um and then after that the car is also running incorrectly um it's not tuned it's running super rich so he's gonna um you know get through what he can today and then we're gonna go ahead and retune the car to make it run the way it's supposed to run there's a lot of brackets and everything that are just hanging on for dear life in here a lot of just stuff that's incorrect in here so that's basically what we are gonna do to the fd today i want to show you guys something really quickly look at this you come over here and look at what abel has over here dude this thing is freaking nuts i'm telling you guys when i tell you that abel is super busy all the time i am not lying so that's why as soon as he told me that he had time for me today i was like hell no nah, i'm not missing out the opportunity i'm gonna go ahead and head on over here you see literally always up to something always working on something here and here is the replacement coolant reservoir tank that we're going to use huge shout out to this Moto for hopping on board with the build I appreciate you guys so much and they sent me over a large uh, reservoir cap which will basically replace this one um this one doesn't look like it's this radiator cap does not look like it's that good if you can tell it's kind of flimsy and uh, you don't really trust it so basically what radiator uh caps or reservoir caps do for you is when enough pressure builds up it pushes this spring up and when it springs pushes the spring up then more fluid flows through so that is why this we were like eh, i don't know if i trust this so we went ahead and uh upgraded to mission motos 19 psi uh or pounds of pressure cap and uh this will just be a nice little upgrade to this my golden knight just showed up <laughs> <laughs> Uber for Polly. Uber for Polly. <laughs> when you don't have anyone to come pick you up after dropping off your FD, so you call your car friends, this is sick, dude. Yeah. Just like that, my Uber driver is out of here, dude. Thank you, Brandon. <laughs> I'm gonna give you five stars. <laughs> so look, I replaced all the fittings now. Everything is push fit, none of that little shitty holes. I put this on there just in case. Everything, and this, I put that connector. Look at what you have. You didn't even have That's terminals. It just had Jesus wires Christ. wrapped around with gobs of tape. I was gonna say, this is the biggest thing. Oh my yeah, God, the so radiator numbers. finally isn't No, no, no. We got to do that. Oh, so you I need you to bring it tomorrow because okay. let me tell you the deal. Those guys look right there at the mount. Oh, they didn't even use a rubber or nothing. It's just down there. So we're going to have to put it up on the lift and see how okay. I can sandwich like a rubber. Okay. And then we're going to have to make a mount. I'm not exactly sure from where though. Maybe what we'll do is we'll just make a mount to the intercooler piping to bolt onto there. Oh, and got Perfect. the new holes too. Yeah, And that, looks see, new holes and fitting. <laughs> my, I'm not gonna have to worry about nope. catching on fire anymore. So now you can clean everything. So We're gonna take this opportunity to see how these lights actually 
from RX-7 look at night. <laughs> An already night and day difference. I think I might have to move that light a little bit down. Are the high beams, low beams. Dude, that looks sick. And we are back to the vlog. Alrighty guys, we're waiting for Abel to show up, but the FD is officially done. Let's check out everything that Abel basically did and straight off the rip, we could see all the changes he did. Like he made this custom bracket for the radiator. So the radiator is actually on intact. Um, unless we go under the car, you can't really see too much, but you can kind of semi see them down there. He made custom brackets down there to keep the radiator in place. As we saw last night, Abel basically redid all of the fittings, all of the lines in here. He actually wrapped everything up correctly so the turbo won't heat and melt anything. There's fittings and everything correct in there. The new oil feed line is actually on there so we won't have any more uh, oil coming out of here. We won't have to worry about fire starting. We won't have to worry about anything like that. And he made the line shorter, custom running. He also redid all the wiring right here so this is nice and wired up. And last but not least, we have the new reservoir tank in here with the Mishimoto cap. Huge shout out to Mishimoto for sponsoring uh, the channel and the build and hopping on board. But look how nice this actually looks. It actually looks complete. It looks correct. You don't have a big mess in here anymore like there was before. There's still a couple of things we got to get inside of the engine bay. We have to get the turbo shield um, to begin with. And we actually have the reservoir tank down there. Which if you guys remember we were talking about when we went to Fuel Fest that the car was overheating. The reason why it was overheating is the other reservoir tank started cracking right here again previous owner like jb welded everything down so the tank started cracking again which in turn um instead of like the oil uh instead of the reservoir cap letting the fluid out it was just spilling out and the line also wasn't being ran to the re uh coolant reservoir um tank so everything was just overheating but we figured out that problem there's no fender liner in here so i feel like we might get some rocks that hit the coolant reservoir tank down here and it might break so i think i'm going to just take out this plastic one and change it and put the mission motor one in there but this actually looks good and i'm gonna say this right now still is a couple of little things that we got to do we're going to change the o2 sensor down here once we change that o2 sensor we are going to come back to abel and he's going to basically tune the car we're going to have it running correctly step by step the fd is going to come back to where it's supposed to be smooth right now <laughs> the coolest thing is that this temp is literally phenomenal right now just a couple of days ago I know you guys remember that the car was overheating right now everything is just perfect look at my mom back there honking <laughs> Is freaking running fire I will say this Abel said with the flex fuel right now we're running like around 14 pounds of boost he said with the correct tune that he's gonna do we can run up to possibly 25 pounds of boost making sure that everything is running correctly but this is basically what I was telling you guys this Greddy manifold had no gasket and it was also hanging on which I didn't really realize but Abel went through the whole thing so he said he put a new gasket in there and you can kind of feel it right here I don't know if you can tell too much but it's like low-key like 
chipped off right here. So he said he super tightened everything down. There was uh, basically a leak right here. So that was basically a vacuum leak right there. He said on this side in the boost solenoid, the fittings and everything, he made them all new. He said this was leaking. So that for sure was like a vacuum leak in there. So those are just like a couple of things that Abel kind of noted out to me. No more heating problems, no more vacuum leaks, no more boost leaks, no more worries about oil feed line leaking and possibly catching more things on fire. So we are good to go. The radiator and everything sitting nice and perfect in the car now. So this vlog, we definitely hit a couple of things that I definitely wanted to hit on the car. And for right now, she is running pretty good. I hope you guys are ready for everything that we have planned for this car. As always, I wish you nothing but positivity and good energy. Till next time, peace.